Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hello and welcome back to Englishman in the Balkans channel. Without, um, without a gallbladder. Without a gallbladder, me. He still has one. Okay, you most probably noticed that we haven't done anything here for, well, since the 10th of May. And we're recording this on the 1st of June and it should be published tomorrow. So that's 10 to 20 to 30. 20 odd days, so that's three weeks. About 20 days. Mm, well, three I weeks. had, uh, I had, I, I, well, the last time I did one of these, you weren't with me. We were talking about your dad, Predrag, making the wall. <coughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for so, me. <laughs> so what happened? I lost my bladder, but I didn't lose my brain. <laughs> she didn't, if she lost, that means you pee yourself. <laughs> Ooh, right. So you were, you were ill, weren't you? I was ill for the whole month of May, starting of 2nd of May. I had this crazy uh, stomach pains, which I didn't know that I had a stone in my gallbladder. And it was awful the whole month I was in pain. I'm still in pain, but I'm feeling a bit better. Today is... I well, you're moaning at uh, me, so you must be better. Today is uh, 17 days since I had my surgery. So today I have no gold bladder and I'm on a gold bladder diet, which means uh, I eat only white meat, f uh, white fish, um, fruit, not, not blue <clears throat> fish, uh, no red meat, and I have to boil my fruit. And everything basically needs to be boiled, so I should avoid any fats apart from olive oil and a little bit of fat in a low-fat dairy product. So that's but you, what I'm eating now at the moment. But you're a lot better now. Look I'm, look at you now. You, you weren't like this three weeks ago, were you? No, I was uh, having... A, I don't know if anyone had this, but this is like... Uh, when you have a gallstone attack, that hurts like somebody... Like Joshua is punching in the stomach constantly for 40 minutes. It's like really awful. And like, somebody, had, like somebody's going to get tonight because he's, he's fighting, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And then it, it, it's really exhausting. And I don't know how many I had, five or six like this before I had my operation. So I had to have my operation done. And then th there was a risky thing because I have a small stone in, my, um, in, in the bile tube. So there is one there, four millimeters. And that, ah. that was a kind of, we didn't know what was happening, but that was like, uh, that could be a, a, a life threatening if it's blocking the passage of the bile. So I went to magnetic scan, you know, one of those big tubes they put your body in and they find out that it's not blocking the bile. So they had a, a proper picture. So I'm not going to die from pancreatitis or anything like that. How big was the stone? Uh, the stone was, uh, I measured it when it's outside, I still have it. She had, she, she wanted to put it on a pendant. Yeah, but I can't, I think it's going to disintegrate in the time. That's so bizarre. So it weird. was about two centimeters, but I measured it in my hand. It was uh, 1.99 centimeters. So. so how much longer before you can eat chivap, eat pleskovica, have a beer or two, or eat anything that you used to love eating? Okay, so uh, I went for a checkup after uh, 15, uh, I went for a, a stitches removal and then he told me on 27th of May and he told me another month of a gallbladder diet. So I will be eating like this till 27th of June and then I can gradually implement like uh, other stuff, red meat, maybe I can have beer or two and things like that. What's, what are you planning? What's, what, what are you going to planning for your back to normal celebration meal i don't know i just i'm still uh, because i have this stone and I, I i still have this fear of if i eat something that i will have the pain so i don't really crave any food at the moment i don't really like to eat at the moment and i lost lots of weight but uh, i'm trying to um you know to eat i i will probably stay the way i'm eating now cool maybe sometimes a cheat meal or something you did very well because my brother came to visit. First time to Bosnia-Herzegovina. Yes. And First time ever to come and see yeah, us. Yeah, and, and we were a bit worried because my brother, uh, he, he, he likes eating meat. I mean, although he, he did eat small portions considering. Yes. But that was really weird. We went to, can we tell the story? We went to Yaitza. We took Trevor to Yaitza. And we're in the really, really nice restaurant. If you go to Yaitza, just go through the... Gate, the main gate. The main gate, and straight on the left is Kod Asim. Yes, yeah? Kod Asima. And it's really nice. Go up the stairs. It's a wonderful traditional they restaurant. They have the best chalap ever. And um, you were worried because 
You couldn't eat what we were going to eat. I couldn't eat. So you took your own food. <laughs> so I took my own food because we went for the whole day and I'm thinking like I'm going to be hungry and there's nothing in the restaurants that I can eat because everything is greasy in this country. There's nothing boiled. Maybe I could ask for something, but will they make it or not? So I took my trout, the boiled fish with some uh, uh, bok choy and potatoes. And I asked the lady if I can eat this because I was not able to eat any of the food she was that so sweet. you had. She just said, Naravno, as if... As if she has it every day. Can I eat my own meal in your restaurant? She was yeah. really sweet, wasn't she? She was. So, yeah, we, we've had my brother. He's gone back to England now. Uh, he's going to join us on our holiday in Montenegro in the end of August. But he's a poet. And hopefully, in the not-too-distant future, if you check out the blog, you might... He might. He I might. asked him to write a poet about Benio Lucas. So, so we'll see, see what happens. And um, we'll put it up. So that was great. And he enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that we might get him on camera to talk about coming to the Balkans, although he does understand the area a bit because he's he's really into Cyprus, isn't he? He likes going on yes. to Cyprus. And I guess the food is kind of similar and uh, maybe the nature in Cyprus is more like the nature in Montenegro. So or in he will even find more similarities in Montenegro with Cyprus than here. Yeah, right. We normally go around Banja Luka and we show you what's, what's around and where we go. And we normally take our guests, friends, relatives or whoever, um, to one place where they've got tiny mills. It's uh, on a small, I won't say town, it's like a large village on the side of the River Verbas. It's called Krupa. Yes, and it's not far away from Banja Luka. And they have really nice old... Fa You're right. I'm in pain now. Not pain now. So, in, 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 um, I'm just 17 <laughs> days after surgery. <laughs> this was not planned. This is not rehearsed. No. And they have tiny mills. But on the internet, I was always looking at another set of tiny mills and... I know I'm rather slow, but I found them, and they're right next to Yaitza, aren't they? Yes. They and are. it's called Mlinchichi. 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 And um, so we we had a camera, uh, and you might see my brother in this little snippet, but for those that want to come to visit us or come to Bosnia and Herzegovina and you're in the area around Yaitza, do go right next to the lake, the Pliva Lake. It's right on the shoreline of the lake and this is a short look at Malinchichi. So that's it. That's our little video from Lin Chi Chi. So we're back. And I think you're, you're getting discomfort now, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm so, going to go lay down on the couch and watch and Roland what, Garros all day. You're going to watch tennis all day? Yes, and Djokovic right. is playing at 12.35, apparently, unless he gets pushed up. And Anthony Joshua is fighting tonight, so you know when this was recorded. Um, right, we're going to try, well, we are going to get back on to doing our Sunday videos. 
that's the reason why we weren't here for three episodes. So and please. it takes uh, quite some time to recover from gallbladder surgery. I only I had the laparoscopy, so that's a quicker recovery, but it's still it, it, it's painful. So please do share, like, and subscribe this video. Hit the hit the little dingle dangle or the bell on the side so that you get notifications and you never miss a post so and um, if you fancy coming to Bosnia and Herzegovina and you feel oh well I don't know anybody or anything like that drop us a DM either here um, on Instagram you'll find an Englishman in the Balkans on Instagram or an Englishman in the Balkans.com drop a DM and we might just be able to give you to some help you, to, to help give you, you some tips tricks and yeah. 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 And who knows? We and might. And you might want to meet us. So. Yeah. And we. Yeah. We'd love to show you around. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit disjointed. It's a bit higgledy piggledy. But Tam's still not too bright. So until the next one. Bye See for ya. now. Bye. Bye.